What's up YouTube? It is thrift day. It's been like three months for me since I've gone thrifting and honestly I'm kind of excited because I have the honor of having a guest with me today. This is Matt, MSG's Treasures. Check him out on YouTube. And I'm also a little nervous because I just left Matt's office and he is on a whole nother level. So I got a feeling that I'm gonna get outpicked today, but either way, we're gonna find out. Well, so. We could do like a draft or something at the end, like the... Like the ah, we could team up instead of competing. I like it. We'll do a draft at the end, see what okay. we find. Stay tuned. Kuji action and it's a triple XL made in China but it's got Australia on the back so that may be fake so I'm gonna do it I think it's gonna be like 4 dollars so could be pretty good I got a limited golf club selection over here but you never know yeah nothing I'm actually gonna Google lens this thing and see if I can find one like it and yeah there's one right there 40 I don't think it's going to be worth it. There it is right there, $34.99. I'm probably going to pass. It does have a little spot on it. I'm going to pass. $17.99. We play in the Beatles. You got like the whole sporting goods section here. What you got? This is a, like a $45 bat, but I mean, it's pretty beat up. Who makes it? Uh, combat. Never heard of it. Me either. Teaching me something new. I just had to look it up. Um, it needs some cleaning and new tape, which I have new tape. Magic eraser. Yeah. And then this is a um, That's brand triple new. eight uh, skating helmet. Yeah. It's cops are all over the place. It's only five bucks though, but at least 30, I think. It's brand new. They got yeah. everything with it. Yeah. yeah. It's a no brainer. Awesome. I do want to look at a uh, that holster you have down there, if you don't mind. You got down there in the corner. Yo, so the Salvation Army was pretty successful. All right, so Matt got a helmet. All right, so Matt got a helmet. All right, so Matt got a helmet. Looks like it's gonna be worth what, 30 or 40 bucks? Yeah, hopefully. Helmet, probably the same. So not bad, spent what, 10 bucks there? Right, and this this bat was, uh, there was a sole comp for $49.99 with best offer. Nice, nice, and it's combat, one I've never heard of. So I'm Me learning either. something already. I think it's a senior bat, so that makes it better. Maybe and then I more. have tape. I read tape rackets and bats, because it doesn't cost a lot. And it, makes it more desirable so i don't care about the tape being messed up nice and then i got the holster i you know jury's still out on that we'll have to look that up find the brand couldn't find it in the store then the we got we play and we rock band and then the Wii itself hopefully the sports game is actually in the Wii because it's not in the case i did get the uh, crossbow training so pretty good stop now before you see matt and i move on to the next store it is time for an exciting game it's time for an exciting game called, is there a game in that Wii? All right, so I've got the Wii here that I got from Salvation Army, paid $17.99 for it. There was an empty Wii Sports sleeve in the box. So I'm kind of hoping and thinking that Wii Sports might be in here. If it does, that could actually pay for the whole box. What do you guys think? Is it in here? Time to find out. Power button. There's something moving around. And eject. Bam! That's a winner. Also, the Kydex holster that I picked up was for Beretta 92. It's made by Safari Land. And prices are definitely all over the place. But I'm thinking I can at least get 30 or 40 bucks. So not too bad for $6.99. And Wii Sports. That's a win. Sunshine Thrift Store. I've been here before. I don't come here a lot. This is definitely Matt's stomping ground. So he's hopefully going to show me a few things. There's $100 right there. Oh, that's the, that, you just the, sold one. I just sold one for 100 bucks. That's pretty beat up, though. It is. Simply lay back in complete comfort and let the back to life gradually and gently ease your tight muscles, making them flexible and supple. Looks like it's got the power supply, though. But yeah, that's 100 bucks just laying over here. Big Ben C45. Big discovery. 
It's gonna be five bucks. I should get 30-ish for it. Nice. Perfect condition, it should clean up pretty good. I'll grab that. Did you actually find a pair of shoes here? Yeah, I don't know if they're worth anything, but they're, they're Tim's. What are they? Timberlands. At $3.99, I think you can't turn that down. Right, and they're, I mean, just a little bit of leather conditioning. Yeah, decent and they'll shirt. Be fine. Nice. All right, Ben Hogan, Big Ben C455 Threewood. There's actual comps that's like 40 or 50 bucks, even higher, but I think it was probably in closer to the $30 range based on the uh, condition here. And then Matt got a pair of Skechers for what? Um, $6.99? $6.99. And, and, and then the Timberlands for $3.99, right? Yeah, and these go, like, I feel like I can get 35 for these. The prices are everywhere, but um, these are almost new. So yeah. I'm thinking I get 35 And then the Tims just need some work. Yeah, we saw the Tims. They were good. They're a good small size though, but they're nice. women's, I think. Hey, we so. haven't been skunked yet. I'll take that. That's always a win. I like this Michael Jackson poster. Michael Jackson trailer, so 25, five bucks. That's cool. One of these? I don't. Shocks. Shocks. Decent, Jay. You don't like shoes? No, I, not a whole lot. They'll sit in my death pile forever. Before I clean them. Here's. I just didn't know. I just you want these? Are they dance guys? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, got them. Yeah. Now I might keep these. It's because I like selling keen. If they're in good shape. Six fifty here, right? Shoes. Uh -huh. I'll take those. How cool are those? They're not in great shape. They're dirty, but kids shoes are 450. I'm getting those. If you guys watching this video want these, they're vans. If you guys want these, hit me up. I might do a giveaway. They're cool. Throwing stuff in front of you. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's a camel pack. No, it's a um, inflatable PSD oh. bike vest. Brand new. Two listed. And that's all there's the refill for. Yeah, we're gonna get that. So Matt just pointed out this thing right here. It says service if red. And on the tag it says red means servicing is required. PFD cannot be used. So although this is in the package, I think somebody pulled the cord and released the CO2. So hopefully all it needs is a CO2 container. I don't know, but for six bucks, I think I'm still gonna get it. That's cool. 1992 New Orleans Jazz Heritage. Made in USA. Single stitch. T-shirts are above 50, right? Yeah. Awesome. So pretty cool Goodwill stop. Got the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival T-shirt from 1992. Only a dollar fifty. Got a cool sparkly pattern. I get 15 or 20 for it. Actually got this sweatshirt for my daughter. But if she doesn't like it, I'll definitely sell it. It's Champion Reverse Weave, modern version. Cool, like tie-dye pattern, really cool. And then the Keen shoes, not really sure how much they're gonna go for. I'm guessing 20 or 30. And then the life jacket's a big mystery. Like I told you, Matt pointed out that service if red. So we think the CO2 has been activated. It definitely needs a new replacement cartridge, but it's new in the package still. So I don't know, maybe worth something, maybe not. I gotta find out. And then the Lisa Assumption shoes, too cool to pass up. If you guys want them, stay tuned to the end. I'll do a giveaway on these. Never done a giveaway before, but these are pretty cool. I, I feel them. like somebody will I'm enjoy them. <laughs> Matt says he wants them. Oh. And then Matt found the Air Max. Uh, I paid up for these, 16 bucks, but I saw I saw um, listed for 50 and nice. plus shipping. So and they're clean too. Worst, yeah, worst case, I double up on those. And then you actually found these and gave them to me. <laughs> these are some dance goes. They're probably 40 or 50, maybe 30. What you call those nurses clogs, right? Since yep. they're white. Yep. And then some Nike shocks. So they're, nice. they're 650 a piece. These are a little dirty, so I don't expect to get a ton for but them. Your treads are good though. But yeah. Usually, usually the, one of these dots is missing every time I find right. them. Right. It's just suede's dirty. I hate trying to clean suede. Yep. So 
But and nice. then I got this Ryobi 7.2 drill for $5.95. It's complete, so maybe $30. If worst case, I part it out and sell the charger and stuff separate. Wait. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Next stop, another Goodwill, and we actually got a cart to start this time. Thanks to that nice lady. Pull blaster out of that empty. I wonder. So I'm gonna grab the pool blaster just based on similar comps. There's not the exact model at all on eBay, but there's very similar ones and there's none listed. So I'm gonna give it a chance for $4. All right, I fully expected you to walk back here and you'd have a cartload of shoes. But those look good. What is that? I found some Skechers, work boots, steel toe. They've worn more than maybe once or twice. And the Avenger work boots. What are they selling for? There's this 34 plus $10 shipping. 39, new 150. Are you worth picking up? Boots here are what, 850? Yeah, I'm gonna get them. Yeah, well, they're, they're, I mean, they're they look brand though, new. So. A little uh, Doc Martens on there, It'd be good to go. Yep. Can I have those hats? No, not those. The well, ones I'll that are here. You mean to put them in a the basket up there, the ones I don't want? Mm -hmm. Yeah, hey, I'm going up there. I'll take them. Oh, Save right, your trip. Right, in right on the front corner, right? Yeah, that rack of those pets, right? Huh? You got it. So we're definitely getting that. Definitely getting that. That would be really good, but it's kind of stained before a dollar would get it anyway. It's got to be some kind of minor league team. A buck. These are new, but they look like they're messed up. Another Pro V1. That was too steady. Grab these four. Maybe I should put in my application at Goodwill. I can put stuff up, as you can tell. Put them in the right spot and everything. So you got this tracer thing here. Got the instructions inside. Five bucks. Comps are kind of all over the place. That's it right there, new, 45, 50. Pre-owned 25. Oh. You got a helmet? That's cool. <laughs> Eight bucks? Yeah. Looks if it was complete, it'd be uh, 150. Really? It just sold comp for 60, just like that. What's it missing? The, fi the face? face mask. Okay. Nice. Can't beat that. Uh -huh. Oh, those new balance are clean too. I just sold a pair of those. Yeah. Uh, yeah, very clean. So. Nice. Oh, that's. Little made in USA guess. That's cool. I mean, I can't turn down t-shirts for a dollar fifty. I just really how much will it how sell much? for? Yeah, like 15. 15, 20 bucks. Spider new attacks. That's gonna be five seventy five. That's a buy. So these are cool. Vintage polo size forty. Good size. Got the leather tag, and then this is the cool part. Embroidered. Polo horse guy, wide leg, definitely from the 90s. They're gonna be 575, so we're gonna get those. Couldn't find any comps, but they're still pretty cool. This is wild. It's like a leather shirt. I don't know. That's crazy. Goat suede. Something, right? 
So I, I can't find comps anywhere. I mean, there's a goat suede shirt. It's 169. It's not mountain khakis. Mountain khakis. Wait, wait a minute. This is similar. I don't know, but it's only going to be 475. And it definitely says goat suede. I don't know. I think it's going to be worth it. I'm getting it. So we are definitely starting to fill up the car here. Got that easy tracer, the pool blaster thingy. I did have a bad surprise though. She charged me $25 for the leather shirt. She said it was a jacket, a leather jacket. Had to charge me $25. I almost put it back, but I've got a gut feeling that it might be worth it. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Further research is needed for sure. If not, I wasted $25. But I think they do have a return policy, right? Yeah, on clothes? electronics do. I don't know about clothes. We'll find out. Electronics do. Clothes, we don't know. And Matt's got arm load too. Bunch of shoes. Hey, Combo five, unit, 40, five bucks. 40, 50 four, bucks, paid yeah. five for it. The helmet, you said you saw sold on 60? Yeah, sold one just like this for 60, but it was really bad pictures. Um, it's missing the face mask, so if it was complete, it'd be a $150 helmet used. Nice. And then some pretty The nice whole bag shoes. full of shoes, for sure. Grab these, these were cool. They were sitting up at the counter. And uh, we saw them sitting there, and they were just about to put them out. Paid yeah. thirteen dollars for them, and they look brand yeah, new. They're like brand new. They're size fourteen, so you can charge up. Going to be a good seller time. for sure. Mm -hmm. Awesome, good stop. So, quick update on the goat shirt. It's actually called a whiskey suede shirt jack, which is like a combination of a shirt and jacket made by Mountain Khakis. And I can only find one comp on it. And that was on Terapeak, sold in October of last year for one hundred and forty dollars. If I can get that for it, I'll be pretty happy. Last stop of the day, I do believe, and it's probably not going to be a good one. I don't have much hope. They do have good coffee, though. I'll give them that. But usually their prices are too high to find anything to flip. But you never know. That's why we go, right? Because we never know? All right. Gotcha. <laughs> there you go, right there. Models. But usually their prices are too high to find anything to flip. Ella Bean Wool shirt. That's in really good condition. Size medium. It's probably not going to be a good one. I don't have much hope. I don't see any holes. Which is unusual. Yeah. That's a winner. Always look at these. Yeah. But usually their prices are too high to find anything to flip. Probably not going to be a good one. I don't have much hope. All right, I'm going to formally apologize to the Oliver Gospel Thrift because I found some pretty good stuff. I mean, Harley t-shirts for 75 cents a piece. You can't beat that. But I'll go through everything when I get home. So it's actually been a little bit since that thrift trip with Matt. We definitely had fun, but I wanted to give you guys kind of an update, go over that last haul with you. And also we need to get into that giveaway. First up, the life jacket. When I brought it home, I did a little more research. When I was doing the research at the thrift store, I put in the model number and then I scanned the SKU code. And if people don't actually put that into eBay, they're not gonna show up. So when I got home, I actually typed in the name and got a few more comps and also read the instructions and realized that the CO2 cartridge is not installed on the life jacket. So it was never gonna give me that green light or that green code. So I think it's actually okay, it should work perfectly. The cartridge was in a separate pocket. Once that's installed, it should turn green and we should be good to go. And also comps look pretty good on this thing as well. Not bad for six bucks. And in the last stop, you guys know me, I can't turn down a Harley shirt, especially for 75 cents. I mean, that's they're gonna sell for 15, 20 bucks, somewhere in there. It may take a while, but definitely worth 75 cents. And then the L.L. Bean wool shirt, I never find them in that good a condition. Didn't have any holes or stains. And I'll just throw some comps on the screen. It might surprise you. And then the L.L. Bean chamois shirt or chamois, however you pronounce it, those are always good sellers for me. I've never actually seen a plaid one before. 
doesn't seem to go for as much as the solid ones, but still a pretty good pickup for three bucks. And then the ladies Harley hoodie for three bucks. Once again, couldn't leave that behind either. And that little collar piece was supposed to be cut like that and it's already sold so that was a pretty good pickup and then finally the disney sweatshirt be on the lookout for sweatshirts like this and also spirit jerseys they can go for some crazy money this one well i'll just throw up some comps only paid three dollars for it i've got it listed pretty high because it's the only extra large that i could find on ebay so i should do pretty well on it definitely the best pickup at this store but let's get into that giveaway i've been wanting to do one for a while because i got this thing how cool is this i saw it at a thrift store they only wanted 15 dollars for it and i knew i had to have it I knew I could have at least $15 worth of fun with this thing. And that starts now. I want you to comment down below. Let me know who your favorite Simpsons character is. And the first 14 people, I'll put your name on the board here. We'll spin it next week during my What's All video. And you can win those Simpsons shoes. I'll send them to you. I'll also throw in a little something extra special. So make sure you comment down below. We'll spin it next week. Good luck. I also want to give a big shout out to Matt MSG Treasures. Thanks for inviting me to come along. We definitely had fun and we got a bunch of stuff. We were going to actually do a draft and kind of divide everything up, but honestly, we each kind of gravitated to what we like to sell. Definitely had fun. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to comment down below your favorite Simpsons character. First 14 people have a chance to win. We'll see you next time.